Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and somewhere clicking around the floor is Esme and Simon's in the house as well as somewhere else. So just a quick update video because I haven't made a video in some time. A uh, couple of reasons. The obvious one which is uh, other things globally have been taken over my life somewhat. And secondly, the Canadian summer has been very wet and the bugs have been very bad. And we've been out a couple of times and tried to camp, uh, but we've kind of failed. I've decided just to like pack up and come back home again. Uh, it's not so much me, I could cope with it personally, because I can obviously put protection on, I can put a head net on, I can deal with that, I can camp in a, in a spot where I can put up a bug sheet and I've got that type of stuff. Uh, but it's very hard on the dogs and I don't really want to go camping without Esme or Simon. So I've been going out, testing it, and mostly been coming back. I'll show you a quick clip of that right now. So they're the worst type of bugs because they are the biting type of flies, the horse flies. Uh, the mosquitoes are bad enough, but these things will literally take a chunk out of you. Uh, because of, like I say, the wet weather, it's been uh, pretty bad. So I have lots of new equipment. I'm very much looking forward to getting out and testing. This is the Helicon Tex Woodsman's shirt. And I have the trousers as well. They were sent out to me from Helicon Tex for me to uh, use in my videos. So thank you very much, Helicon Tex. And this shirt looks amazing. I really like it. I'll go into more detail, but it's a heavy canvas shirt. Uh, it's got a lot of features that are perfect for me. It was almost like someone read my mind. Um, it's, I love it. It's great. It's, it's built for the outdoors, very rugged, lots of features, and uh, it's going to plug in perfectly with all my other gear. So I'm very excited to try that. I am going to show you uh, a video I made a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of a mismatch video. Um, so it's not complete. I've been deciding whether or not to actually put it together in a video, but there are some nice parts in it. So it's not really my usual start, middle and end type of video. Uh, but if you want to take the time to watch it, then you're more than welcome. And I guess until we next get out, which should be soon, I'm hoping, then I'll see you shortly. Enjoy the video. Hi YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael and today I have Simon and Esme with me. They're just kind of wandering around in the foliage. So today we're going to head out to a remote camping spot. It's actually the furthest out that I, I go in this area. It's quite a ways. My usual route to that place is not going to be feasible with this machine because uh, there's a little tiny rickety bridge that someone's made out of logs. Uh, that this would never make it across. I could just barely make it across with the Pioneer 500. which weighs about half the weight of this thing and is much narrower. So I'm going to try a different way. Um, if anyone watched my uh, previous video where I took the Can-Am with the tracks but got stopped by the snow, it's going to be that track. This is where I'm going to be heading. So I have been down this trail once before many years ago and I know it does come out at a road somewhere and I'm hoping I can break off from there and make it to where I need to go to. But I'm not 100% sure, but if we find somewhere along the way that looks good to camp, then we're going to go ahead and do that. I have the War Bonnet El Dorado hammock and uh, two dogs. So as always, it's fun sleeping with your pets in a good way. So before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber, then please consider doing so. And if you like the video at the end, then consider giving me a thumbs up. So let's get started. Come on, pup. Come on, Simon.
Well, I don't think we're going to take that route. I could tell already. I know that's a big hole, uh, but this part is normally dry and it looks uh, pretty bad. If I was probably not alone, I would probably take it a risk, but if I get buried in one of those bogs, that's going to be a lot of trouble. So I think this is one I'm going to try a different route. So this is one of the ways I can get to my campground, but I don't think the, uh, the can is going to make it across that. It's uh, pretty rough looking. Uh, definitely I'd make it in the Argo, but not with uh, an 1800 pound, 2000 two pound machine. Uh, I could probably get in so far and winch across, but again, being solo, it's not something I really want to do. So I think I'm going to try a different approach. This is how it is. It's just been so wet recently. I think everywhere is kind of very soft and mushy. Anyway, onwards. <laughs> so we've hit our first little hurdle. So I'm going to grab the Silky, this is a Big Boy 2000, and uh, get this one cleared.
Yeah, the Silky Big Boy 2000 does a great job of trees about this big. You can actually get through them pretty quickly. It saves firing up the old chainsaw. Just got to keep an eye on Simon. You want Simon? So we've made it all the way down to the little valley with the brook at the bottom. Uh, we came a completely different route than we normally do. But uh, let's take a look. The first swim, I think. The swim. Good girl. Good swim. Go get it. Go get it. That's me. That's me. Good girl. Come on. Come back. Now this one. This one. Good girl. Get it. Good girl. So I think one of our wolf friends or coyotes has kind of been by our camp here. Don't think it's that old. Even though I have much better systems to connect my hammock to a tree. I keep coming back to these Themarest slacker straps. They are just so simple, 
they just work and they're pretty cheap as well so this is what I'm going to use for tonight just going to set up the hammock let's go So my other tip is I don't actually crush down my underquilt or my sleeping bag into a, a tiny bag just to transport it. What I'll do is pack my normal cases, my little boxes in the back of the UTV, and I'll cram these things in. They'll compress just fine, uh, but it does less damage to them than storing them in very tight containers, those little strap down things. If you're backpacking, it's different, but you can cram these in. They'll go into the same small space. It's actually better in this way than is if you put them into a, a compression sack. So this is better for them and it's much quicker to put them up and down. There we are, all set for tonight. I just have to put in my Wubby, my uh, American US MC Wubby, and that'll help me protect my nice sleeping bag from the wet dogs. That's the price you pay for sleeping with wet dogs. So I think it's time to take a seat and uh, watch the world go by. So we've had some bad luck. The rain came down and Simon and Esme and me are undercover under the Helicon Tex poncho. It's keeping us dry so far. Just drag that over the top of the uh, hammock. Hopefully we'll survive the night, but pretty wet outside. So of course we did survive the night and albeit slightly damper than when we started, but we had a comfortable night. I didn't film much of the morning because it was packing up in the wet, so I really just wanted to get the dogs in the Can-Am and head for home. The trip back was uneventful, we made it back safely to the truck, and we had a great relax in time. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.